I'm here at the Carly Bruchin Memorial Garden at McIntosh Middle School, a garden dedicated to Carly. And it's the students today who not only maintain the grounds, but in doing so, keep Carly's memory alive. The community remembers Carly Brucia. I, as a parent, can't even imagine losing a child. And for her family, like stepfather Stephen Kanzler, that nightmare is a reality. She was taken too early. Carly was just a bright, lovable child, you know. And unfortunately, she never got to be somebody. Following Carly's abduction, law enforcement tore through evidence trying to track the 11-year-old. A sense of community spread around the world as everyone hoped Carly would return home. We got letters from all over the country. Different countries sent us letters from people in languages we couldn't read. Never thought it would get that big. On February 5th, the sheriff announced Carly's body had been found in the brush of a local church. The body of a beautiful 11-year-old girl, Carly, Rusha has been found. Joseph Smith is under arrest for the abduction and murder of Carly. Immediately afterwards, we had a memorial service on the lawn here that was broadcast live uh, up and down the coast here. And that was significant to me that, that, that not just the news media would think it was that important. I mean, we had news media from all over the world contacting us. It showed the community how vulnerable we really are. And we don't like to feel vulnerable. People don't like to feel like their children are that at risk. But it's what we can learn from a tragedy like this that strengthens a community. Since everything happened with Carly, there's been a lot more classes teaching kids to defend themselves, what to look out for. So at least it's opened parents' eyes open to be careful, it could be. The Community Foundation of Sarasota partners with county schools offering protection courses for students. Since 2005, its Carly Brucia Fund for Children has collected grants totaling $23,000 for personal safety courses here on the Sun Coast. Although rumors that Carly previously knew Joseph Smith surrounded the surveillance video, Smith refuted the idea both to his family and at sentencing. Still, Carly's case raised questions about the criminal justice system as Smith's criminal history surfaced, including a false imprisonment charge in 1997. I could be angry at the court system because he should have been in jail for other offenses he had committed where he shouldn't have been able to get the Carly. But it's not going to solve anything. As Joseph Smith sits on death row, Steve Kanzler says a life for a life is the only option. I believe at that time is when I feel like that's when Carly will be free. Then I can be free also. When I watch him die, then that'll be like the end of the end of the book. And then I know she'll be at peace, and, and then I can kind of start going, feeling at peace with myself also.